Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Testimony Thursday. Another time to just share um, with our brothers and sisters what the Lord has done for us. Um, so if you have a testimony, please raise your hand um, so you can share with the family what the Lord has done for you. So if you have a testimony, please raise your hand. Um, you know, but as it was prayed and he said, so in some some of us have testimonies and we're not raise up our we don't raise our hands. I said, No, you know, no, everyone has it, everyone here that is even present has a testimony that you are alive today is a testimony. So everyone has a testimony. Um, and I also want to encourage you, no testimony is so small, or oh, because your testimony is is also is an encouragement, someone are saying. God has done something. God has done this for this person. God can indeed do this for me. Um, so if you have a testimony, please raise your hand. Um, let's take your testimonies. <clears throat> can anyone hear me, please? Yes. Yes. Okay. Never mind. Internet tripped up a bit. All right, so does anyone have a testimony? All right, Brother Luwali, please go ahead. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to thank the Almighty God for light, um, the gift of revelation and perspective. Uh, there's a concluding part to this uh, Thanksgiving that I'm doing, which I'll share when everything concludes. But I just want to thank God for, for revelation, insights, and um, strength, His grace, and his mercy all around. So I just want to thank God for that. More importantly, just for the mercies of God and for light in every in, in the darkness of situations. I just want to thank God for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, and I know that when he comes back to share the the concluding parts of this testing, I shared the beginning, I shared the middle, and we shared the, the conclusion of or the concluding part of this testimony or understand when they say we thank god for light and whatever you're going through whatever situation you may find yourself no matter the season um i would ask you to please ask the lord to reveal to show light the light brings revelation that you have an understanding of the season they have an understanding of what is happening and then you, when you have a pers the perspective of god in that that situation then you can go through it and then you know what to do you know so i'm i'm also charging everyone here if you are in a season and you do not understand or you need further explanation or revelation just ask the lord pray that lord open my eyes to see pray for light in that situation and the lord god will show you in the name of jesus amen um without oluwale you come back share the concluding part soon and very soon in jesus name amen um sister iswa please go ahead good morning good morning everyone um i just really want to thank god firstly for joining mercies i've had to travel around the uk um quite a lot this year and i just want to thank god for journey mercies i also want to thank god for just his intentionality in like um <sighs> my like where I sit on like the plane or the train so when I was traveling last week um I sat beside a priest and you, you know we just started talking and like I learned so much from that one conversation and just like church history in like England and Scotland and I'm just very thankful to God and it just goes back to like a prayer I'd prayed like maybe a month or two months ago like Lord I just really want to know more about the history just so I know how to pray into like the nation and I'm just really blown away um just by the conversation that I had with him like my faith was just really um strengthened I also want to thank God um I was offered an internship with a church here in in Glasgow and I think for me it's just how would I say easy or how seamless the whole process has been like like it was just me showing up at the church and just literally just from going to say hello to the pastor and he's like oh 
you know, come and do your internship in my church. And I'm just, I'm so thankful to God for it. Like I'm thankful for his direction and his leadership over my life. And I just want to tes- testify in advance. And um, this Saturday, um, the Billy Graham God Loves You tour is happening in Glasgow. And I'm, I'm thanking God for the hundreds of children, because I'm a children's counselor, the hundreds of children, of children who give their lives to Christ and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, you know, it's one thing to leave your house and it's another thing to get to your destination. It's not, it's not a, you more, you will get there. It's by the grace of God and the protection of father that t- keeps you, you know, um, all the way. And we just thank God for your life. Um, and we know that God will continue to direct your path. And you would be at the right place at the right time. And um, God will give you, will have them, you will know when to speak to people because those people would give you insight to what you really need is what in the season, in the name of Jesus. And we thank God for your internship. Um, with God, everything just is there's ease with the Father. And may your may your season just be filled with ease in the name of Jesus. And we thank God for the children. Um, who the 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 hundreds of children that will give their lives to Christ um this weekend in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um sister Gladys, please go ahead. Hi everyone. Good morning. I just want to thank God for um answers to prayers. I just want to thank him for um new um new visions and new dreams and him um taking charge of it and so i i left my job but if i left my job i kind of like left my business on the side uh, when i started my job i kind of like pushed my business to the side and yeah so um after i left my job um after six months there because i just kept feeling the need to like you know do more and be more um, so I left my job and I said, oh, what am I going to do? And first of all, God had um, provided this um, um, Adira business opportunity for me. I used to sell fabrics in the past and someone had reached out that she knew who that were looking for Adira. And so I have been going to like Abelita to source um, Adira fabrics and ship to the east for those that have been placing their orders. And then I also on the side started like reaching out to people because I know how to write grants um, because of previous roles that I've held in the past as a chief of staff and an executive assistant. So I know how to write grants and I know how to like design pitch decks. So one of the things that I had said I would do when I leave my job was to, you know, write more pitch decks because I was already doing it as a side hustle and making money from it. So I started like, you know, I got this list of businesses and I started sending them emails. When I first started, it was very, very slow. It like it, it I wasn't getting any response to my emails because I was sending out cold emails. So I wasn't getting any response to my email and I was quite frustrated. And then that particular day I was feeling some level way and then got placed in my heart a Post that I had seen on Twitter on how to, on a cold email template that someone a company was using and they were like hitting their goals and so I I went back to that post on Twitter and I took the template and I used it to write my own emails and since then I have been booking calls because I what I did was Facebook calls you first book a consultation call so we get into a call and then we can like talk about how what you need me to help you with in the grant, if it's the grant writing, the pitch deck or both of them. And so people have been booking calls. People have been showing so much interest. And I just want to thank God for that um, because like now it's feeling like I have too many calls I have to take and I don't know how to go about it. <laughs> yeah, and I just want to thank him in advance because uh, more than these calls, um, a lot of them would convert and I'll be able to like, you know, have money coming in every month without having to stress myself in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, Thanks. Uh, sorry, are you done? Yes, I am. Um, so we thank God for opportunity. 
pray that we pray for favor um over your business and that you come back testifying of God's good God's favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Um sister Ogo, please go ahead. Hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I really just want to thank God for favor. I really want to thank him for provision. God has really been uh, faithful. He has done exceedingly abundantly, more than I can ever think or imagine. He has blessed my business. You know, this is the same business that um, in the last two years, it was, you know, it's been very quiet. And this year has really caused me to be favored. With clients, you know, he's really caused the ones that value what I carry to find me and look for me and uh, favor me. He's really been, you know, he's met my need. Every need that has come forth that had seemed, you know, very, very, uh, what I say, almost impossible. He's come true and he's provided. And I know it is not my strength. It is not my wisdom. It is not anything because I'm not doing anything different. So I've just come back to say thank you, Father, because he has really, you know, this year has been one for the books, you know. It's not like anything. Every goal I've set for myself, God has surpassed it. And I've come back to give him all the glory, you know. And I really just want to encourage everyone here, you know, how when God says there's a season for everything, there really is a season for everything. And, you know, sometimes it might seem like nothing is happening. But like I always say right now, I, I would say, you know, there's a, there's always a lesson. There's always a lesson for that season. It might not be, you know, you might not be getting what you want at that time, but he's already preparing you for that thing that you're praying for, because that's exactly what's happening to me now. Everything I prayed for, I now realize that in my last season, God was preparing me for it. God was raising the capacity. He was raising my wisdom. He was fine tuning my knowledge. He was, you know, he was in, in, in he was uh, upgrading my expertise. All the things that I, you know, he was doing, and it came from, you know, little 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 instructions, little leadings in my heart. The Holy Spirit will tell me, sign up for this course, do this, you know, upgrade your back end, do this and that. All those things that I did in my last season is what is now, you know, giving me that, would I say, highlighting all that I need, um, that I need to highlight in this season and for the people that also need what I carry to uh, to really, really uh, favor me. So I've come back to give all the glory to God. He's faithful and, you know, he would always come true. Thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for your testimony, Sister Ugo. You know, when, when, if, if you, I, I, I can't remember who, she, okay, I think it was the, when Brother Luoli shared, I said, ask God for light. You know, when there's the notch to do something and you don't know, understand, just, just obey. Not partially you'll be, but just fully you'll be. So when she was doing all what the Holy Spirit nothing had to do, it wasn't making sense to any other person. Why is Sister Ugo doing all this? I mean, she's better. And they didn't understand why. Well, right now, when everything, all the cards are put on, I mean, everything adds up right now. And then you're looking back and just and saying, oh, now I understand why the Lord had to take me through that journey. Because sometimes we think that we are ready for what we are praying for. We're not honestly ready for that thing. So God is refining. God is breaking and removing everything that can make you self-destruct when he blesses you so whatever season you are in just can you ask god for perspective and lord whatever knowledge whatever he's asking you to do please just fully obey because there's a blessing in the obedience and when you see why he asked you to wait don't don't wait sulking don't wait in as you're waiting rejoicing because something is happening if you look at your life i'm sure if sister will go she give, she's giving if she if you allow her to share her full testimony, it didn't make sense. But the person that she is today, even the person that was about two years ago, while the Lord was refining and breaking and remodeling her to who she is today, refining her to who she is today. So whatever you, wherever you are, whatever season you, you are in, I beg you this morning, just ask the Lord. Lord for light, see his perspective, understand, and then enjoy, wait, because that, that promise is definitely coming to pass in your life. He's already giving you the word. It would surely come to pass in your life. And when it does, you understand why you had to wait, what 
just happened. If you look at your life, something shifted, something broke. You became patient. You became something was something moved in your life. Something things broke. Things that were not of God were removed from you. So in this season, I'm just asking that everyone please just uh, sit with the Lord and ask Him for perspective. And we thank God for a testimony, Sister. Go, God bless you. Um, Sister Lady Woman, <laughs> please go. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. I just want to thank God. Last week, I gave um, a testimony and saying that next this week, I will come back to give thanks for how our conference went. Our three-days conference, it was our third anniversary of our ministry. I want to thank God for showing up. It was just so amazing. The testimonies are coming in, and I can only say it is God. The people that came, the people that heard about it last minute, and just and just showed or that just came came to be part of it. The um like the, the, the hotel staff, everything, you know, being in the where we are, normally that kind of program should not even um like the approval. One of the reasons why we didn't even do it in, in Abu Dhabi was because of the approval process was quite stringent. I said to do it in Dubai. But thank God because like even for us to have a drum set in the room, though we had to use a let electric um drum sets that reduce the sound to have a drum set as if another testimony and the fact that they will tell no no complaint whatsoever and i'm sure that the 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 the, 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 the noise would have been outside the room we used don't know, thank god for everything for favor with the hotel staff for favor throughout the guest minister coming I was sharing a testimony yesterday in our midst about our guest minister who is quite elderly, she was 79 this year, falling. And thank God that nothing happened to her because that was one of the prayer points we had prayed that everything would be, would be well us traveling down from a cold area to very hot in summer here. But we just want to bless God for testimonies, for deliverance, for, for, for insight, for provision. That was another thing God kept providing, even when it was time to pay the bills. And I told you, don't worry, we'll pay before we leave. <laughs> and I had to keep swiping different cards to make sure that we finished paying the bills. I just thank God for how we came through, how we provided. And I know that this is just um, this is just the beginning. Greater things are ahead of us. Yeah, that's my testimony. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God for favor. <clears throat> And we know that lives were lives were transformed. And this is just the beginning, sister lady woman. This is just the beginning of many more. And you'll see the favor of God working in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, sister Tolope, please go ahead. <clears throat> morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Wow. Honestly, I woke up this morning really, really tired. Didn't even know how I I I mean if I wanted to even get out of bed. And, you know, I just remembered when PI, you know, what, what we say here, that strength is a miracle. And indeed, strength is a miracle because regardless of how we feel, you know, there are new mercies for every day. So I'm just so grateful, grateful for new mercies. I, I have a Yoruba song to sing. Um, and then I'll share, I'll share the testimony that um, the Holy Spirit laid on my heart. <clears throat> Go do you are do right in me. Go do you are do right in me. Go do you are do right in me. He was lonely in my mind. He was lonely in my mind. Go do you are do right in me. Go do you are do right in me. And you know, for, for everyone here that you don't understand Yoruba, it just means that God has never put me to shame in the place of prayer. He has never put my prayer to shame. You know that every time I pray, the Lord, you know, he has never put me to shame. He, and he has ne on this platform, God has never put us to shame. Um, last year, uh, my company, Digiscape, we won a grant. Um, we won an Heritage grant. And I think this is like maybe the first. Uh, we won a convertible grant that we had to pay back. But this is like 
the first of his kind grant. And what was this grant supposed to be? We had we had conceptualized an idea that we wanted to light up some government spaces, right? And um, we said we wanted to light up um, the like, the museum, the federal museum in Onikon, which is like an heritage place, you know. It has a lot of all these old artifacts. That's where the, the car, Muritala Mohammed, and a whole lot of bronze head and beneath this and all of that, you know. And we won the grant. I mean, it's been a journey of two years. And, you know, after we won the grant, after they announced that we won the grant last year, okay, send the grant money. They did not send the grant money. And we had to wait another one year, you know. And at this point, myself and the staff were now praying that, you know what, it feels like this grant is going to come in just when we, like, Father, Lord, let this money just come when we need it. And guys, you know that. We received this money, like the day we received the, the money, the, this grant money. That day, I just finished saying a prayer because one of my one of my team members had made an error on an invoice. And the error on that invoice, we couldn't go back to the client. Everything was going to be a mess. And I honestly didn't know where we we're going to get money to correct anything. And the client had rejected the batteries that we sent, saying that, oh, they want another type of battery. And we should come and carry this battery. And now this battery that we, we took to this site, it was... It's literally one of the best quality. But they said they don't want this particular one. We decided to think that where are we going to get money to buy another battery? Like, batteries are, like, so expensive. Batteries, this particular one was maybe about, we, we needed another five point something million. And I started to think, oh, God, you know what? I'm not going to go back to this client I'm not because we've already made too many errors. And I just said, God, maybe we need to borrow money and, you know, we'll, we'll, sell, we'll sell off this one. I mean, it's a good battery. There's nothing wrong with it. We've not even opened it. It's still in the carton. It's new. And, you know, and then this grant money came in, like, just when I was thinking, God, where are we going to get money from? And, like, God can turn a mess into a message by his mercy. Like, he can turn anything around, anything. Like, God will never put us to shame. Never, ever. Like, for me, it was just, like, 10 minutes before then, I was cracking my head. I was saying a prayer. And and somebody from my team called me and said, Ms. Fala, we just received this money that we've been waiting for a year. What are the odds that it is at this time that we need it? And then everything that we bought for this particular project, we're going to use it for the grant because it's, it's the same quality. Is is as in this, It's not like we're we're being. It's, it's the quality that we want. It's just that this when you just face difficult clients that does want, they will pay for Pojo and they want Rolls Royce. Okay, you know, and and I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful to God. Thank you, Father. And Star Gladys, we're coming for you. Brother Luole, I'm tapping into your, your testimony. Yes, for revelation. God bless you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. <clears throat> hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for, we thank God because we when we put our trust in God, we'll never, we'll never be put to shame. God can be trusted. It, it may look like, how would you be? Even at the 11th hour, God can turn things around for your favor. It may look look like a delay. It may look like, oh, how will it be? Yeah, what is, but God is like, I'm, it, I I don't want to say I'm causing that delay, but that delay is I'm releasing at the appointed time when it would be, be it would be needed, you know. And we just thank God because God indeed can be trusted and God turns things around. And that the revelation you need, the favor you need, you will receive, Sister Tolope, in the name of Jesus. Um, that revelation that you need for this season, God would re reveal to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, Sister Luatosim. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Glory to Jesus. I think that prayer that that song that you sang that to me, you also applies to me, you know. Allah on Dojo Adirati, you know, he never ever fails you. He's always there. Even when you feel like <laughs> sure, there are situations that happen in my life, I'm like, God, oh, this could only be you. Okay, so basically I I have um, a foundation and we have different expressions. Um, we should like about four expressions and God is doing wonders. They are all thriving. Um, however, I also do something on the side. So over the years, I've been, you know, a bank, I was a banking professional for close to a decade. And then I moved, you know, I left banking so that I can have more time for myself. And so I moved to another job such that I do something else aside, you know, for my, um, the foundation and its expressions. Your vision needs to be foil, you know, you need some foil, right? So you always, you know, I'm still learning a lot um, in the corporate world. 
um, at least in this small place that I work. So now one day I just checked my LinkedIn and I saw a particular multinational company reach out um, and said, okay, that please, uh, I'm the HR business partner for this particular company. I think your profile fits for this. So I should please share my CV. And on my CV, I will not hide that I, you know, I work where I work currently, and I will not hide that I have a foundation and I will state, like I stated the expressions I have, what I do fully. So I'm like, anybody that sees this, you almost be like, this one is engaged. This one has all the early law that she does. So I don't think, you know, maybe she's fit and stuff. But I shared it. And they reached out for an interview. The first interview, short, over one hour, they were just listening to me. At the end of the interview, you know, they were like, this is like the longest interview you've had. Like you sort of even schooled us. <laughs> Do you understand? You know, I felt good um, about the interview afterwards. And the next thing was to see an email um, that they shared that I was going to meet the CEO. I met him last week. And honestly, when I was going into the banking sector, these people, this company, have I've been eyeing this company. Like, ah, I love this human resource, very big and stuff. And, you know, I'm into training and stuff as well, coaching. I'm like, I really want to, you know. But, you know, now I'm ready. It's not like, it's not something I look at, but it was a dream then. I met the CEO and he was like the director of um, operations or the direct, one of the people that was on my panel. They were so excited to see me. I spoke and everything. The CEO just told them that he needs to have another chat with me soon, that they should share all the documents with me. Let me, you know, I should look through what they do, you know, digest it. And, you know, you have some questions as regards the way forward and stuff. So what I want to thank God about is, you know, there are times when we don't even, we dream about stuff and at God's timing it comes. There are times when we feel like, okay, maybe it's time for me to even focus on my vision. God is saying, I want to still expand your network. I want to still take you to that place where you will meet, you know, you've seen before kings and I'll connect you internationally. There are times when we even feel, ah, I have to be the one to submit my CV. God, you know, out of the millions of people on LinkedIn, it just, you know, will distinguish you and let them come for you. They will shop for you. So there is nothing impossible for God to do. So what am I saying? I'm saying that this is our God. Hiya. He's so good. Like, he is so good. Times when you don't even know, he blows your mind away. My mind is blown. They share documents with me. They said I should go and start digesting, knowing everything they are doing. The director of, um, of, 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 of the of the directorate I've been working with already told, you know, the CEO said, tell her everything you do. Was already telling me the thing I'll be managing. It's not a matter of, uh, there's no, there's, I'm just managing, it. I'm like working with a team. It's not something that would weigh me down or anything. They know what I do and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, it's just God is just faithful, guys. Just trust Him. Just trust Him. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. We just we just thank God. Um, we just thank God. Um, God, God has good plans for our future. In God, at the appointed time, at the appointed time, He makes everything beautiful. He makes everything beautiful. Um, the same thing goes to uh, Sister to Lopa to everything. You know, God's timing makes all things beautiful. God's timing. See them. She's looking like does a point is yearning for this, but was refining you. You were going through the process, not knowing that that what you were going through was for a time like this. So when you open your mouth to speak, what they are hearing at those years where you've been, not in hiding, but those years where God was working on you, exposing you to things. And this is a time where the manifestation comes to comes in. I will just thank God for your testimony, Sister um, Tosin. And we know that um, the, God's favor rests upon this family. God's favor rests upon this family. And when you speak, you would be present. Like you would, they would hear you. It is like you know when they say you hear someone, you're like, ah, I didn't how do you work with her so, You know, someone saying, I know you do this, no problem, but we'll find a way to fit into your schedule. We don't have to disrupt what you're doing, but we'll make plans to work with you, whatever you're doing. And we just thank God for that testimony. You will come back rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Come, um, sister.
Sister Tosi and Sister Tolope, both of you, is congratulations. Amen. Amen. Um, go ahead. Um, Sister Tolope, can you hear me? You were breaking a little bit, so I'm not quite sure that's with everybody else, but can you hear me? So I'm not sure if it's my network sure. or yours. I can hear you now. Okay, brilliant. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just really want to thank God. Um, yesterday was eight years since I obeyed God and moved back um from the UK to Nigeria. And you know, in reviewing it, I I have no regrets. I think that for me is is the key thing. Um it's looking back at the eight years and seeing the perhaps more internal work that God has done uh, for me. So I am thankful for that. Um, another thing I want to really thank God for is the, I mean, interestingly, you're talking about that when uh, Sister Ogo shared her testimony, but it's the gift of perspective. And um, I think there's just so much to learn from there that sometimes when things are happening and you're trusting God, you're praying, you're waiting on something um, and it doesn't seem to be manifesting. One of the prayers to really pray is God help me to see what's going on through your eyes. Help me to have divine perspective on what is happening. Um, I think for me in the past few weeks, even as I know I'm in a new season, um, I think in the past few days, I've just been hit by the light bulb of, wow, this is actually what God is doing. And there's a sense in which you see it, and it actually has the ability to give you strength and joy in the process. Um, so I'm just really grateful to God um, how in the past few days has opened my eyes to really see what he is doing. Um, and when we actually see it, then we see God, his intentionality, his um, how thoughtful he is, how how loving he really is. And I know my testimony doesn't sound like he has any tangibility to it. And again, that's one of the things, you know, one of the errors we make when we sometimes perhaps compare ourselves with ourselves is that we tend to compare our intangibles with someone's tangible. Hmm. Okay. And when you do that, you don't actually know the testimony that you have. So you're while someone else is thanking God for a car, for a house, or this or that, there are many intangibilities like God pulling down strongholds in your mind. God, um, there are many things that God is doing that is not tangible, but it's actually the precursor to the tangible. Sorry, I feel like I preached a sermon, but there you go. That's my testimony. It's a bit one of those ones that I can't explain, but I'm just actually thanking God um, for his great gift of perspective. Um, and I'm thanking God in advance because I'm trusting God at the moment, looking for a space and moving. Um, and I'm just really testifying in advance because I, in the, at the core of my heart, I want it to be done by the end of next week, which is the end of the month. So first half of the year. So I'm testifying in advance that I would get the perfect space for myself and the business, um, you know, by next week. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Your three minutes um, preaching was, no, not three minutes, we're just joking, but that was very spot on and that was very apt because sometimes we compare, ah, I don't have a testimony, I don't think, it's not about the tangible thing, all the intangible things, God pulling down strongholds. So thank you for sharing that, Sister Timmy. Oh, God bless you. Um, And, you know, I'm sure when she was moving back to Nigeria, some people were wondering, is she okay? Why is she coming back? Does she know what she's doing? Is she really hearing God? Well, would there have been someone who is, who is a joy ambassador whose mission is just spreading joy wherever she goes with her beautiful smile and through her through her business, you know, um, doing that wow, putting that wow smile on people's faces um, for the past couple of years, you know, and it's just the beginning of her business here because she's like also expanding. Um, and so we just thank God for your testimony, Sister Timmy O. And we know that as you've testified in advance about your place, we rejoice with you because it comes with ease and there is favor and that you would get the, the beautiful place as God has desired, as God has willed for you. In the name of Jesus, Amen, Amen, Amen. Um, and lastly for today, Sister Tolu Alonge, please go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Can you please hear? Can you hear me? Yes, please. Good morning, everybody. So I've got three testimonies. Two is I'm thanking God for what He is going to do. 
So the first testimony, which is, I'm, I want to thank God because God is mindful of me. You know, before I give this testimony again, I have to look at the meaning of being mindful. <clears throat> and I don't know how to put it, but really God is paying close attention to or being especially conscious of me. Because a lot of times I do things and I can't say this is the reason why I'm doing it, but God has been placing me where I need to be part time. One, then two, there are things I want and I think, oh, this is my God, this is next to me. And God would one way or the other take it away. It might be painful, but once he does it, I look back and I say, God, I'm so grateful. He has never made me go into like what people call troubles and at the end of the day, I have to pay, pray my way out. God has been just so mindful. I want to thank God I'm attending a retreat. So my lady woman gave a testimony. She's my younger sister. I had to come from the UK to attend that retreat. And I'm grateful because God has answered a lot of things in my heart that I didn't want to speak about, but he has answered it. I want to thank him for provision. I bless his holy name. My second testimony is about my, our older daughter. Thank God, because I know in the month of July, I'm going to come back with a testimony. We are praying for something. We are trusting God. And I know God is going to say a yes or a yes. A yes that will be his own yes, which is the yes we want. A yes, the other yes will be, might be our own no, but will be his own yes. But my testimony is because I'm going to come back. Our daughter and every one of us will be in a good place. And we'll, be, we'll have a clear understanding of what God is doing. And the third testimony is there's a retreat I'm also planning for women in the UK. And I want to bless God because I can see what God is doing. And there's some things I cannot even see. But I bless his holy name because at the end of the retreat, which the testimony also is going to be in July, the Lord would have battered kingdom-minded women, women that are ready to partner with him which is for his agenda. Because one thing, one burden that the Lord has put in my heart is that, especially in the UK that I live and the area I live and with the work I do, the people of the other faith, people, um, they are strategic. But sometimes as a Christian myself, I feel I'm not strategic enough and I'm just leaving things to chance. So I'm, the Lord is awakening me to be more conscious and raising women, like-minded women to walk along. So I'm just thanking him in advance that the two days, two nights we're going to be together is going to be very impactful because the Lord... It's going to speak to everyone's heart and quicken us to take up the nest. Thank you. Amen. 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 Um, so we thank God because, and the truth is that God is very mindful of all of us. Um, and it, it, we need to know that to know, no matter where you are, just know that God is mindful of you. And we thank God for you, Sister Tolu Alonge, that. You, yeah, you've come to consciousness that you know that God is mindful of you. So no matter where you are, no matter what season you are, you are certain that God is mindful of you. And we thank God because favor, we know that God indeed is doing something in you. And with your daughter, you will come back testifying of, it's, it, it, you know, maybe you, I don't know if you have a date in mind when this whole uh, with your daughter but you will come back testifying because God's will will be perfected in your lives in the name of Jesus and God's yes God's will we, we declare God's will God's will whatever it is God whatever God's will is we declare it over you and for your and for your the retreat next month um we say thank God because well, it, every it is this month, month. <laughs> is this it month is this month it's from yeah 28 to 38 of this month oh, awesome Every woman who is coming in will not enter half year or the second half of the year the same way that they entered this year. They, they started this year. So as they are en entering the new, entering July, their lives have changed. As they are leaving that retreat, their lives have changed. Every woman that comes in, from you to even the volunteer, someone who's just passing by to say, oh, I just want to help you with every woman, everyone who attends, who listens, who hears, just even just one part, their lives will be transformed in the name of Jesus. And you come back testifying in Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Um, Can we just celebrate God for a minute? Um, Just say, wherever you can unmute your mic, just say, God, we thank you for the testimonies today. We know that, God, you have started, you are doing something in our midst. We are all partakers of this thing that you're doing. So where you are, is not noisy. You can unmute and just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for light. Thank you, Jesus, for revelation. Thank you for favor. Thank you for overflow. Thank you for 
the God we say thank you, raise our voices, even if we do not to say to share a testimony, but we are all thankful for what you have done in our life. That have testified today, and we know that there are many more testimonies we'll share on this day. Any family, Father, we give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Um, I'll just one more thing, please. I would love us to do one more thing before we go. If where you are now is not noisy, can we take a can we take the next two minutes? I just pray in the Holy Ghost over Pastor Missy. Just pray in the Holy Ghost over Pastor Missy. We we are thankful for. We're thankful for PI. We're thankful because yes, yes, yes. 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 Amen. Amen. We just thank God for Pastor Missy. Um, our yes has brought us together as a family, and we know that God will continue to bless her, strengthen her, and be with her. We give her the wisdom for this season in the name of Jesus. She's blessed. Her going in and coming out is blessed. She has peace on all sides. She has rest on all sides in the name of Jesus. God would, would bless her, expand her, increase her to left and right in the name of Jesus. God would do exceedingly abundantly in the name of Jesus. And God will make all grace, every free one, earthly blessing come to her in abundance in the name of jesus amen 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 thank you so much everyone for joining um god bless you and and i pray that today we have testimonies we'll see the goodness of god we would see and experience god's goodness this today uh we'll have many more testimonies to share next week in the name of jesus amen uh we can use the same link to join in our watches 9 a.m 12 noon 3 p.m 6 p.m 9 p.m bible what bible study 12 midnight 3 a.m and we're back here at 6 a.m god bless you and have a Testimony Field Day. God bless you.